Well, how y'all doing? How's it going? How y'all doing today? Yeah, I got another microphone. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just keep getting stuff to get stuff to get stuff to make this thing work a little better. I don't know. Hope y'all can hear me a little better. I think so. Probably so. We gonna see. <clears throat> now, mm. what to say? You asked me if I was wearing a Dallas Cowboys t-shirt because they won last night. No, not at all. What do you say you asked if I was a Dallas Cowboys fan? Eh, possibly. What do you say, you th do, do I think it's the year we'll do some? It's very possible. What, what do you say, do I train some of them? Yeah, I train a couple of them. You know, don't worry about it. You know, so, you know, I got, I, but you know, I'm not like no fan, 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 but you know, I just, you know, I support, you know, good game last night. Good game last night. Damn good game last night, actually. All right, now, let's get into this crazy ass topic y'all made me want to talk about. Yeah, so put on my Twitter thing or the question out of the three of them. Matter of fact, hold on, where my phone at? Let me go see. Let me see what y'all looking like now. Where my phone at? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Tomorrow evening. I can't. I can't. Oh, okay, excuse me. So right now, on my Twitter, in this poll, the question was, who's the greatest of all time female sprinters? This is actually very shocking to me, people. I did not, I'm going to tell y'all like this here. When I put this up, I expect the people to just be in all uproar like, why is this even a question? This can't be no question. Everybody knows this flow Joe. So what I thought was going to happen did not happen. I thought it was going to be a close race between Flojo and Elaine. It ain't even remotely close. All right. Um, right now, Flojo's at 28 percent. Elaine's at 41 percent. Shelly Ann is at 31 percent. But y'all ready for me to tell y'all who's actually the greatest female sprinter of all time? <sighs> Turning on my handy dandy laptop stuff so I can pull up notes. <laughs> All right, so we'll do it like this. You know, I like to always try and compare um, our sport to other sports so that our sport would be looked at as an actual sport. So in most sports, actually all of them, almost damn near, they measure the greatness not by the talent, not by the feats of what they do, not even by the records. They don't. They measure it by the championships. Let's just call it what it is. What is one of the reasons why everybody says LeBron cannot surpass Mike? Mike got the rings. What did everybody say Tom Brady at? Why Tom Brady the great? Tom Brady got the rings. Now, Let's take a little trip now, memory lane for a second, okay? Flojo, Flojo. Flojo's most famous for, um, of course, the two world records, right? One of those world records have always been in question. Always been in question. Why is that? Why is that? Well, in case you didn't know, there's a lot of information around people were saying who was there that the wind gauge wasn't working which is very possible that that could have been the case um let's just take a look at some of flojo's times okay some of her top times came in the 100 meter dash september 28th no, I'm sorry. September 25th, 1998. She ran 10.54. 10.54 with a 3.0 wind. She ran that in 88 in the finals. In 88 in the semifinals, she ran 1070 wind dated. 2.6 wind. Also in Seoul, in quarterfinal, she ran 1062 legal. And in the qualifying heat, she ran 1088 legal. 
In that same year, on July 17th, 1988, Flojo ran 1061 on July 17th, 1988 with a positive 1.2 win. That was in the final. In the semifinal, on July 17, 1988, Flojo ran 1070 with a positive 1.6 win. Um, July 16, 1988, in the qualifying heat, Flojo ran a time of 10.60 when dated with a 3.2. Also in that same day, roughly about an hour and a half later, Flo ran the world record at 1049 that has no wind indicated. I'm, I'm, I'm help y'all out again in case y'all missed that. On September 17th, which is when the semifinal and final was, the wind was 1.2, 1.6, which is normal because usually when the wind start blowing, it's just going to blow. You know, God does some mysterious, crazy things, but it's just weird that, he, you know, things go from like calm to all of a sudden hurricane. Excuse me. Let me do that. Let me in front of y'all. Um, but anyway, stay with me. So, so on July 16th, it was a, 1060 wind day that she ran at 3.2 wind. And then magically there was no wind indicated when she came back for the quarterfinal, and that's where we got the world record from. So out of all the Flojo's times, the one time that we don't have a, a single reading beside with a wind is the world record. I mean. <sighs> hmm. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, let's let let's 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 get let's get past that though. We don't we won't spend too much time on that. So let's talk about the medals that Flo Jo got. Flo Jo has um hundred meter gold from Seoul. She has uh two hundred meter gold from Seoul. She has a four by one gold from Seoul. That's three. She has a silver from LA in the 284. That's four. She has a silver from 88 in a four by four. That's five. It's five Olympic. World Championship, she has a gold in a four by one from 87 in Rome. That's six. And she has a silver and a 200 from Rome. That's seven. Okay. So in the span of, we could say, two, well, no, you could say respectfully four years. In a span of four years, Flojo um, acquired seven medals in the span of four years. Not bad. Not bad. Seven medals. It's not bad. She participated on... Two Olympic teams. Not bad. Um, one of the Olympic teams, she didn't get an individual. Well, she got an individual silver in L.A., so we'll, we'll, we'll count that one. Okay. Now let's switch over. Let's switch over. That's what it's going to get good at. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Here we go. Y'all be mad at me, but I don't really care. This is what I do this for. This is why I had this show for. All right. Let's just take a look at some some statistics uh, 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 from a, from a, from a, from a Elaine Thompson hero. Okay, 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 okay. We'll just throw out a couple of them. All right. Um, hundred meters PRs ten point five four with a legal wind zero point nine that most of us saw. We was we all witnessed that ten fifty four. 
Um, 221.5. We all witnessed that as well. Mm. Sheesh. It's amazing. Wow. 10.5. is moving, Jack. 10.5 is moving, moving. Oof. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's just go into this mellow side of things. Elaine Thompson here. <laughs> okay, well, hold on. Hold on, though. Hold on, though. In, in Flojo's defense, okay, you know what? You know what? I ain't even going to, I'm not even going to call out. Matter of fact, if it's not like a major championship medal, I'm not going to call it out. We're not going to, because in Flow Joe's defense, there was no Pan Am games, no NACA games, all that. So we're going to keep the playing field level. All right? Elaine. Elaine has. God <laughs> Elaine has. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Six Olympic medals, five of them being gold. One, two, two world championship medals, one of them being gold. We'll leave it at that. We won't even, we won't even throw any indoor because Flojo didn't have indoor. So we'll go with respectfully on her rings, like they do in other sports. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. She has nine championships. She has nine championships spanning from the years of well, a little long, not too much longer reign than than Flojo, 2015 to 21, seven years. Hmm. Interesting. So right now, if we going based off of um, how every other sport does, <clears throat> Flojo ain't, ain't in the conversation no more. It's the greatest of all time. Not even really in the conversation of fastest of all time. Again, because that 10, I, do, I just read it to y'all. You can look up yourself. 10-5 literally has like zero to zero beside it. So they, like, how can you count that? You can't count that. You got to start from where it really counts at. Where it really counts at is like 10-6. You're not the fastest either. I'm not saying disrespectfully. I'm just saying I'm just doing my show. I'm just doing my show. All right. Y'all know, know I'm going next, right? Y'all know I'm going next, right? <clears throat> Without a doubt. No question. No debating. No nothing in. I'm just, it's, I'm saying it right here now in race take. It's not even a question. Shelly Ann Fraser Price is by far, by far, the greatest female sprinter who has ever walked this planet. You cannot argue that. A lot of y'all want to. A lot of y'all want to. I even had to go back and do my own research because I said she was goat-ish. I said Elaine was the GOAT. But then I had to sit back. I said, hold on, Jack. I said, hold on, Jack. I had to check myself. I said, wait a minute. You said Elaine the GOAT and said Elaine go tish. Go break that down to yourself. So I did. So then after I broke it down, I was like, I'm going to put it on Twitter and see what everybody else say. I just want to see what they're going to say. I just want to see what they're going to say. I just want to see what they're going to say. Only some of y'all got it right. Let me call out these ladies' championships. Remember, we was at five and seven for theirs. Again, if we're using the same, you know, same rules and regulations as every other sport does, you know, you got to count the rings, got to count the champ, got to count the rings, the championships. That's what they always say. Who got the most rings? <clears throat> Just Olympics alone. We'll start there. Shelly Ann has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she has more Olympic medals than they both have with their Olympic and World Championship medals. Let me say that part again. 
Flo Joe's and Elaine's medals that I have those numbers, if you press three round and add it up, that was for their Olympic and World Championship medals. Shelly Ann got more Olympic medals than they got of both. Damn. World Championship medals. We're still well, I'm talking about outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven World Championship medals. In total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. This lady has nineteen medals between the Olympic Games and the World Championships. Nineteen. Okay, y'all say what? Gold. So we we saying we, we only gonna count gold? Okay, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. She has 12 gold medals. 12. Oh, you say individual? Oh, okay. Well, she go count them then, then too, then, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 individual. She got 10 individual medals. Oh, how many individual gold medals? Oh, oh, oh I'll count them too for you. Gold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. She has six individual gold medals. She has just as many gold medals as Flojo had medals, period. She got just as many gold medals missing her individual medals. One less than what Elaine got in total. <laughs> And that's just Olympic Games and World Championships. We didn't even talk about indoor championships. We didn't even talk about World Athletics Finals. We didn't even talk about World Athletic Relays. We didn't even talk about Diamond League. We didn't even talk about American Games, Commonwealth Games, Athletic World Cup, NACA Championships. We didn't even talk about none of them. We didn't, when I say none of them, none. <clears throat> Y'all know what I do on this thing. I try and bring our sport, the entertainment side of it, to make it something like a real Show and sport and stuff. So I try and make sure everything I do not be biased. I compare it to other sports. And I compare runners to runners. To say, okay, well, if I'm going to determine who's the greatest, I'm going to compare these two people. Or these three people. Or these four people. Whatever we're going to do, we're going to compare it. Okay. 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 There is no comparison. There's literally no comparison. There is literally, ain't no comparison, Jack. Ain't now. Again, that's just like the same thing that I need folk be saying about LeBron. Ain't no man, ain't no comparison. Shoot. You know what I'm saying? He gotta get some more, what is it? He gotta get some more rings to catch up with Joy. Well, I'm here to tell y'all, I hate to tell y'all, I hate to tell some of y'all folk that feel me mad, but it is it sounds like in this in this this conversation, we talking about GOAT. I don't even think Flo Joe's supposed to be in it. Hold on, let me just go check a few more people. <laughs> let me just hold on, I do wanna go. If, if now if we only look now. I'm just talking about if we only basing it off of how every other sport do when they say you got who got the rings, who got the rings, if we only base it off of that, I don't even think Flo don't make our top five. Let's go find out. She might. She might. She might. One person, one, two people. I want to go look up, see, and count downs. Mm. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see, y'all. Let me see. Mm. Let me type it and see what. Let me see. Oh, I spelled, I spelled, I spelled the name wrong. But I don't think, I don't think. She, um, I don't think she got enough medals to be in this conversation, though. But I'm, damn, why are you keeping me type it that way? But I'm just trying to see if she got more than Flo Joe. I know this is going to hurt a lot of y'all feelings, and I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But it is what it is. Numbers don't lie. As Lil Wayne said, let me count this one. 
Okay. Well. Now again. Again. Well, I guess you got. I guess. I, I guess the fairness would have to be. Well, no, because we didn't. We we counted all the flow Joes too. We didn't separate no gold, silver. We said all the medals she got. We said all the medals Elaine got. We said all the medals. Those is your rings. Your, your medals is your rings. All right. Carmelita would be bumped up a fiddle in front of Flojo. Carmelita would be bumped up in front of Flojo. Why? Oh, hmm. In Carmelita's short reign, it was a great reign. It's, it's, I love Carmelita, it's my dog. Short, great reign. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven medals, Olympic and World Championships. Individual, two. Gold. One, two, three. Bronzes. Silvers. Now again, look here, y'all. I don't make the rules, all right? Okay? I don't make the rules. Actually, I do make the rules. This is my damn show. But, <laughs> I just wanted to put some clarity on it from a raise take perspective that, unfortunately... I don't even think that Flojo could be considered the greatest of all time. I'm going to even go out on a limb and say I don't even think she could be considered one of the greatest of all times. I could say she's probably one of the most talented of all times. I can say that. There's a lot of talented basketball players. There's a lot of talented football players. We say like one of the most talented of all time. Do we say it about LeBron? We're like LeBron is the most athletic. He's not, he's not the greatest. He's the most athletic. That's kind of well, man. Now with Flojo, like, I mean, she wasn't the greatest. She was just the most talented during that era. Why? Okay, again, if we base it, if the only way we can base anything off of your greatness off of anything is off of your accomplishments, she didn't accomplish as much as the rest of the other females did. She did it. And then the real record that she has is fluky. Sorry, it is what it is. I mean, she, she was great. I don't think she should be even mentioned in the greatest of all time conversation. Again, only based off of these standards, which are medals and stuff. We're basing off of these standards. She can't even be in the conversation with these ladies. We're basing off of talent. Yes, you can be in the conversation. Why? You ran just as fast as they did. You did. You did. You ran 10-6. You ran 10 -6. They ran 10 -6. You know, you're just as talented as they are or were. I don't have to say it. But to say she's as great as these ladies, I'm going to have to go on and stop that now. I don't give a damn. Y'all get mad at me. Whatever. Get, whatever. I don't care. I'm stopping it now. She's not. She's not the greatest of all time. She's not even a conversation of the greatest of all time. I'm sorry. I just, I just, I literally just proved it to y'all as to why I feel that way. I just, I just broke it down. Metal for metal. <laughs> he didn't do enough. Rest in peace. Love the devil. Didn't do enough though. Didn't do enough to be considered the greatest of all time. I'm just saying. Kobe scored 81 in the garden. That's great. That's amazing. That's like a world record. Just saying. But Kobe still looked at like second. Not where Mike get. Why? Mike, talent, and the medals. Well, in that case, talent and the rings. So, fortunately, y'all, I'm sorry I have to be the one to um, go ahead and do this, but... Unfortunately, Flojo cannot be considered in any conversations of greatest of all time. Fastest? Yes. Ta and the greatest talents? Yes. Greatest sprinter of all time or athlete? I just told y'all three that's in front of them. I'm ready for y'all now. I know you're going to kill me in the comments. Let's do it. <laughs>